After another long and exhausting week at the legislature, we're back to update on a terrible new striker amendment. It's Maya with Capital Watch, and I'm here to give you the rundown on what's been happening at the Arizona legislature. We've talked a lot about anti-sex education bills and anti-LGBTQ plus bills in the past, especially SB 1456. The bill was recently vetoed by Ducey, but not after long battles and a lot of pushback. Unfortunately, in typical AZ-led craziness, there was another bill that popped up this week that has almost identical language as SB 1456. It has the same effect as the previous bill, which prohibits any discussion of gender identity and expression in the classroom. Additionally, there is no sex ed for your children unless you opt them in to the class if it's offered. It is extremely sad to see this language back in the legislature, but the bill was vetoed before. As this bill moves through the legislature, we'll continue to keep an eye on it and any other quick striker amendments that the AZ GOP tries to pass out of the public eye. We also have an update on one of the worst bills this session, the Pevel Purge Bill. SB 1485 punishes over 150,000 registered voters by removing them off of the permanent early voter list, simply for not voting in consecutive elections. This disproportionately impacts voters of color and people in low-income communities. However, in true AZ GOP fashion, the bill was brought back and Kelly Townsend, who previously voted against it, proudly voted in favor of it. On top of all that, the attempt to suppress and punish voters couldn't have been quicker. Governor Ducey signed the bill in about an hour. Record time. With all the voter suppression attacks happening at the state level, this is where Senators Mark Kelly and Kirsten Sinema need to do their job and pass the HR1 for the People Act. Watch some of our other videos to learn more about the filibuster and HR1. That's it for this week. Make sure to follow us on our socials for live legislative updates as they happen. And go to progressarizona.org to sign up for our newsletter and to get more updates than what we cover here.